Kim Braswell here from Chemistry, and let's be honest, I'm just glad that I'm alive to make this video. So five things, this video is sharing five things I think I'm learning about my spiritual walk, my believer walk as a Christian, but that for whatever reason, um, God's showing them to me inside of CrossFit. Number one, I realized when I started doing CrossFit that I'm not very teachable. Um, one of the instructors had to keep correcting me because this is a new sport. And though I've been an athlete in the past, I'm learning a new sport. So there are techniques, there are moves, even just knowing where the equipment is, I didn't know. And although I'm a professional new girl, there's nothing more infuriating to me than being clueless. And because I hate being clueless and because I'm so competitive, I sometimes resist being taught and so I've learned that I'm not as teachable as I would like to believe so one of my goals is to be more teachable and I think I'm going to get the practice for this in CrossFit but seeing how it will expand into my whole life I think it's going to be a good thing the second thing brokenness so here's how this relates to fitness how do you build muscle you tear muscle apart you break muscle down and then when you work out it is able to expand well I think faith probably works that way too, right? You kind of break that thing down and then as you continue to believe that faith is able to expand because something happens and instead of giving it all up and saying forget it, you go right back in and you say, all right, let's see what happens today. Muscle works like that. Faith works like that. So brokenness. I am learning to embrace brokenness. And again, could be the endorphins or it could be that I'm so dopey and slow but God is like, you know what, you've been an athlete, so since you don't get it any other way, let's pick a hard way for you to get it. Let's have you do CrossFit, and I'll just talk to you while you're doing CrossFit. A third way, my fitness walk is informing my spiritual walk, is this notion of a trainer pushing me to do more. You know, when we're just doing things on our own, we have a tendency to cheat don't lie how many times if you're working out by yourself if you're not pushed by anyone else you'll do the minimum you ever done and i know i was recently complaining about burpees you ever done burpees by yourself do you really go for it if you're doing burpees by yourself if your trainer's not there or there's no one else in the room the point is i'm going to perform better when i'm being coached my coach knows more about me my trainer will know more about me than what i can see in myself and my own ability and so if i allow them to that trainer will push me to do more than i think i'm able to do and i think that's how discipleship is supposed to be working right your discipler my discipler can see something in me that i can't see my discipler is further along in this journey as a trainer is further along in crossfit than i am as my track coaches were further along in understanding what is capable of my body when i'm doing these events these movements and so they're able to push me beyond where i think i can go to build my strength to build my stamina to build my capacity so that i can be the best possible version of myself and again I could be delirious or it could be the endorphins or it could be that God is somehow using CrossFit to speak to me and you know what strong to you God so a fourth way that I think my believer walk is manifesting itself inside of my fitness walk is mindset you know they talk about getting rid of your stinking thinking and you change your mind and that really changes this behavior path when you want your life to improve and i find that's true in crossfit too this morning was one of these mornings where i was not feeling it i stayed up way too late i'm gonna be honest with you um although i made better dinner choices than i was going to um because it was going to be waffle fries lemonade and who knows what else i ended up eating tortilla chips and salsa for dinner and then i stayed up too late and then woke up um just in time to make CrossFit and was trying to think of excuses for why I shouldn't go to CrossFit, but I went anyway. And that's because there's a change in mindset that's happening. And I knew I want to be stronger. I want to gain stamina. I want to gain endurance and I need to show up for this and I need my mind to be right. I need to go in here and be ready to learn 
um, whatever the trainer is going to teach and I need to be ready to do my very best and not compete against anyone else but look for whatever my personal bests are. As a person who has been competitive since birth, since birth homie, this is a big deal for me. This is a huge switch in my mindset and I realized when I started changing my mind, CrossFit was so much better. And that's actually probably the case in this Believer Walk too, right? Like when I start changing my mind about how I'm approaching all of this, this Believer Walk's gonna get easier. It's gonna get easier. Let me take that back. CrossFit doesn't get easier. My attitude makes it more palatable. And maybe that's the case too. Maybe this believer walk is always going to be difficult. It's always going to be hard to fight God about giving up stuff I don't want to give up and to fight against my flesh and all that. And I'm going to do that until I die. But maybe if I change, continually work on changing my mindset, continually work on the fitness goal of changing the intensity, the stamina, the strength of my mind, maybe I can get better at this mindset thing spiritually too. We'll find out. This fifth way that my Believer Walk is being informed by CrossFit, by getting in shape, by becoming holistically well, is everything that happens in the in-between. Listen, um, if you don't work out or do something in between the CrossFit workouts, it's not good. What helps me out, what will help me out, is what I do in between. Yep, these are the days that I'll go to class, but what am I doing in between to improve my strength, to improve my stamina, to improve my endurance, and all these other things that I'm going to be working on? It's the in between that matters as much, if not more, than when I show up for class. Am I trying to consistently improve in these skills that I'm trying to develop? And I'm wondering if maybe that's how this believer walk. It's supposed to go too. like maybe the goal is that I get all the tools from from church from the pastor from the word from discipleship but in between there I'm supposed to be doing this work in between and if I do the work in between it's gonna make the other stuff so much better I'm thinking I'm hoping and I'm believing that to be true so thanks for tuning in however many of these you've actually watched. But yes, I do believe if, if God is omnipresent, then God is showing up in my CrossFit. And I'm gonna tell you straight up and down, I'm gonna need some Holy Spirit to get through this. Yeah, all for now.